is uh, where you live? <laughs> yep, this is it. Come on in and have a cup of coffee. I want you to meet my aunt and uncle. Gee, I don't know, Marilyn. No, it's, it's gotten kind of late. <laughs> I've had such a good time. I hate to see it end. Well, I, uh, I guess I could walk you to the front door. <laughs> just left them in my other purse. Oh. Why are you whispering? Oh, I, I don't want to wake your folks. Oh, don't worry about them. They're always up all night. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Herman. Hello, Marilyn. I forgot my keys. I'd like you to meet my date. This is Jack. Oh, Uncle Herman. What's the matter with me, anyway? I guess so. Would you like to have a little something to eat? No, thank you. I have some warm lady fingers in the oven. <laughs> no. I think I'll just go right upstairs and go to bed. Night, everybody. Good night, Uncle Herman. Good night, Marilyn. Good night, dear. Would you come? 
sitting down here? I want to try this jacket on you. <laughs> Don't talk first to your mother, and stop playing with that noose. <laughs> Leave me alone! Don't touch me! Leave me alone! Don't touch me! Let me... let me go! Don't touch me! You never let me have any fun! I'm gonna hold my breath and turn myself back into a toast! <laughs> You're always picking on me, too. You never talk that way to Marilyn. Just never you mind about Marilyn. Now, you must remember that she's not as fortunate as the rest of us. Try this jacket on. I won't. I hate her. It's sissy. All right, then you're going to go right upstairs and get into bed. And don't forget to close the lid. <laughs> ah, spunky kid. I wish Marilyn had some of that spunk. Hmm. Marilyn. Hmm. I hope you're not going to start that again, Herman. Well, she's your niece, you know. She's your sister's kid. There's nobody on my side of the family ever looked like that. <laughs> well, it's just one of those unfortunate things. <laughs> all the more reason for us to go out of our way and show her all the love and affection we can. Poor dear. I wish she'd get married. We could use some fresh blood in this family. <laughs> well, if you ask me, it's at least partly her own fault. There's no reason for a girl to have to look the way she does. I'm sure there's something you can do to make her a little more presentable. You could show her how to walk, how to talk, show her how to fix herself up a little bit. Say, listen, why don't you send it to that man who does your hair? Well, I don't think that would do any good. He's just a beautician. He's not a miracle man. If you don't do something about her soon, we'll have her on our hands forever. Me? If I don't do something about it soon, well, I always have to do something about it. It's me. Always me. It's enough I have to go out and scare up the rent every day. <laughs> you think you're the only one who works hard? Ha! Huh. Well, how would you like to have to clean nine rooms and a dungeon every day? Now, you can't expect me to do anything about Marilyn. What do I know about young girls? Do I look like I went to charm school? <laughs> oh, will you stop this bickering? There's enough noise in here to wake the living. <laughs> Your move. <laughs> Grandpa, we've got to think about Marilyn's future. You don't want her to end up an old maid. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. What could you do? None of your business. Just leave it to me. I hope you're not going to do anything uh, wrong. Would I? <laughs> I thought he was going to get a fan down there. Igor? <laughs> Igor? Igor? <laughs> thought I told you to wait in the dungeon? Igor? Ah, there's no rest for the wicked. <laughs> Never work. War surplus. <laughs> ah, now, had poison apples, poison bananas. Poison pineapples, poison fruit salad, poisons, poisons. And what are you showing me, poisons? Potions, I said, potions. I mean, don't you understand English? <laughs> Baldness, 
communist, crabgrass, crabgrass potion. Oh, that makes a wonderful crabgrass. <laughs> Measles, mosquitoes, warts, the plague. Oh, there's just no demand for this stuff anymore. <laughs> you see, where is that love potion? Ah, 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 here it is. The lovable potion. If thou wouldst inspire devotion, slake thy thirst with this rare potion. To have the lover of thy choosing, shake the bottle well ere using. <laughs> shake the bottle well. <laughs> oh, I shudder to think what would happen if this fell in Todd's scrupulous hands. <laughs> First, sift in a cup of powdered whale heart. Oh, whale. Ah, yes, whale heart. Huh? Now, one teaspoon of nightingale tongue. Nightingale tongue. <laughs> Oh, we know it, yes. I feel tongues, yes. Aha! Now, a pinch of GL-70. <laughs> ah, and now, now, for the secret ingredient. Ah, a woman's tears. Oh, I gotta be mighty careful with that stuff. That's very powerful. Oh, oh. Can't overdo that. Yes, now, a little of this. <laughs> and we're all ready. Turns out half as good as the batch I made for Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Marilyn will be irresistible. 